How can you get your audience more deeply involved with your speech in a single sentence? The answer to that question can be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. You've already heard about the P and the A in the part formula. That's the foundational phrase in the anchor. Now let's talk about what may be the most important line in each of your subpoints: the reflection. What's the reflection? It is a sentence, typically a question, but not always. A question that makes the audience think about the implication of your point to their lives. For example, when I'm talking with salespeople about the power of business storytelling, I usually ask this question. What would the impact be on your business if you could double your number of prospective clients in the next 90 days? When I talk with executives and CEOs about presentation skills, I ask this question. How much more impactful will your leadership be if you could develop clear and concise messages and deliver them in a dynamic style with great confidence? As I mentioned, it doesn't always have to be a question. Sometimes it's just laying out a scenario. This is where the word imagine becomes very powerful. For instance, a financial advisor could use the following statement at a retirement workshop. Imagine how much better your life would be if you had an extra $3,000 a month coming in. What would that enable you to do? Who could you visit? Where could you go? What causes could you support? What would that do for your lifestyle? The key to reflection statements and questions is this. You have to give people time to think. That means, as a speaker, you have to be quiet. Leave time for people to reflect upon the implication of the statement or the question you've just given them. This is a common problem I see with almost all speakers. They ask questions and then they immediately go to the next point. They don't give the audience time to reflect. When you do this, you are in speaker mode. When you give people time to think, to consider the points you've made, you're now a communicator. You're creating an emotional connection because people have time to feel the implication. Not just think about it, but feel your point. If you want to create that emotional connection that we talk about so many times in these tips, this is the best way to do it. Make key points, ask questions relevant to your subpoints, and then give people time to reflect. Do this, and you greatly increase the odds that they will buy into your points. Tomorrow you'll hear the fourth and final aspect of the part formula, which is T. See you then.